she rises. Way, hey, when up she rises. Way, hey, when up she rises. And greetings gamers and welcome to Let's Play Pirates of the Caribbean New Horizons. Well, the votes are in and you decided, surprise, surprise, the tales of Jack Sparrow. It was a close call for a moment. Uh, it was neck and neck with Master and Commander for about halfway through, but then a few um, clinching votes at the end ensured Jack's victory. So, I'll read this again so we know what the hell we're doing. A lot has been speculated about the early days of Jack Sparrow, and we're not even sure if this particular account is entirely accurate. It does explain some of the events that shaped the infamous pirates, but the journey can take multiple twists and turns depending on your choices, which may or may not end with you sailing into the sunset after lifting the curse of the Black Pearl. Aye, Scotty, the engines cannot hold it. So yeah. Move it on. Let's begin. Let's begin. This is gonna take a while. Not the loading, I mean the storyline. And I forgot to set do the settings. So uh <laughs> yeah. Hope I was on arcade mode. But uh whether or not we in um, you know which we we'll call it uh Hardcore mode, which means I can't do the instant traveling. I don't know. And here we go. It's late already. I'd better find some place to stay for the night. The tavern is close by. I hope they've got some lodgings there. The town's deserted. Except for that guy. And uh, the marijuana smokers over there. So not much to do here, you just pop over to the tavern to see a familiar face. That's right, Mr. Gibbs. Ahoy there, Macy. Why don't you join me for a cup of rum and a good sailor's story? Certainly good, sir. It seems I've got plenty of time to spare. Yeah, the voices will be off when I'm doing this. I can't actually do their voices. I'm sorry about that. Ah yes, I've got a truly amazing story to tell you. It all starts out of a young lad named Jack Sparrow. Sparrow, you say? Isn't he that famous pirate? The very same. But he wasn't always a pirate, you know. He started out as a cartographer back in old England. But his father was a famous pirate too, wasn't he? Aye, he was. But young Mr. Sparrow didn't care for his father's profession. He wanted to make a living as an honest person. An honest person? Jack Sparrow? But he's the most roguish swashbuckler I've ever heard of. Indeed, that's what he became. But it wasn't so in the early days. He had a quiet office in the streets of Southampton. But the lure of the sea proved too strong. He commissioned himself a ship and set off towards the new world. But fate had different plans for him. Young Jack ended up in an epic story that would have repercussions for everybody who sailed the seas. One wrong turn and who knew what would happen next. Is that so? Well, this is most amusing, I've got to admit. But you've got to be a bit more specific to impress moi. Are you questioning me story? His arrival in Grand Cayman Port set things into motion that nobody would have believed he didn't see it with his own eyes. So yeah, this is um, Mr. Gibbs telling uh, Mr. Whatever the story of Jack Sparrow. And here he is. This is actually Jack Sparrow. I forget. I don't think you can do twirly thing. I need a door to do that. So yeah, Jack Sparrow started life as a merchantman. Would you believe? Close your mouth. You're catching flies. He looks angry. <laughs> you there. Come with me. Well, I would rather go the other way, but uh, if you insist so persistently. Yeah, that's my very bad Jack Sparrow. Thank God, so that I'm on duty. 
Like I told you guys, I'm not doing the pirate voice. I might do it for one or two pirates, but it really kills my voice doing it. Oi, wait there, sailor. You're under arrest, you know. And lucky not to be in chains, as far as I'm concerned. Charming. Uh, it's Captain, by the way. That's as may be. Just wait here until you're summoned. Good day, mate. I don't know why I'm Australian. <laughs> what have I been arrested for, anyway? Doesn't take much working out in my book. I see a woman up there in great distress, pleading to the governor. I see a randy sailor here. Now you tell me. But, if I'm not mistaken, that's my father up there. Yes, yes. Mumble, mumble, mumble. And, oh, did you see it? Is she who she was? Indeed. Thank you, Sergeant. We will dispose of the prisoner from here. You may return to your post. Prisoner, present yourself to the court. Bloody dispose of present myself. What the heck is going on? Rabble, rabble, rabble. Teague's Oh, wow. Normally he has the voice clip from him as well. The shame. Oh, the shame of it, Jackie. Yeah, but... And as for the lady caught in the middle of all this, she ain't telling all she knows. Words fail me. Here, yeah, but your mother is distraught, fit to be tied. Oh, the shame of it. Uh, but it wasn't me, whatever it was. Fit to be tied, I tell you. She's already taken a ship to Lord knows where just to get out of here. But um, I didn't do anything wrong. In fact, I ain't done anything yet at all. Listen, I just stalked here and guards arrested me for Lord knows what and marched me to this place where I meet my father. A father, I might add, whom I ain't seen since I was a lad. Why am I here? Jackie, my boy, you ain't under arrest. It was a ruse to get you here, because I need your help. Someone stirred the waters in this here archipelago. That's the shame of it, Jackie. Life was sweet. We pirated here and there. But the code and the brotherhood is what held us together. What do you mean? I know I'm doing their voices the same, but it's kind of hard to switch both of them together during the dialogues. Also, a good thing to know about Teague Sparrow is um, if you're old enough to remember the old Pirates of the Caribbean ride, apparently Teague Sparrow is supposed to be the, the character of the, on the pirate ship. That uh, now Barbosa is on. Yeah, just a little trivia for you there. I mean that things that should have been left well alone haven't been. I mean that treasure that should have been left alone hasn't. I mean that people sh oh, burp, who should have stayed away from here haven't. I mean, I get your drift. A lot of people have been doing what they shouldn't, so that's why you call me. No, Jackie, I called you here to say goodbye. Oh, goodbye then. Not yet. Oh, methinks the fates work the places here, Jackie. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. I, since I pushed off from home ten years ago, as I recall. That be done. Our meeting here now on this island has been set by the fates, or by powers greater than we know. Or, then again, by sheer coincidence. Gentlemen, as much as I enjoy a good family reunion, shouldn't we get down to the business at hand? What business is that then? There's much going on in these waters, and I can see the trouble brewing. The pirate life ain't gonna be the same. Well, I'm not a pirate, that, so uh, it doesn't bother me. That's another shame, Jackie. You disappointed me there, lad. You would have been such a fine career if you'd stuck with me. Well, uh, I didn't. I have my own ship, and intend to make my own fortune. In my own way. Jackie, I need your help. I need you to stop what's happening, you can. What the hell does that mean? But you will have to do it on your own, without me. You won't be seeing me again, son. I have the code to worry about. On my own? The code? What code and do what, exactly? Tell me. Sorry, Jackie, I can't. I'm out of time. Need to get back to the shipwreck cove. Matthew will help you. Goodbye, my boy. Eh, yeah, but... 
Just run into me. That's that's fine too. Now, Captain Jack, we must be quick. We don't have much time either. The governor will be back soon. But I thought you were the governor. No, I just look like him. He likes, shall we say, a tipple with his lunch and a nice nap afterwards. I slip in here, pretend to be him for an hour or so, and I'm able to pick up some snippets of information from the various visitors during that time, and pass them on to your father. That's how we were able to use the arrest rules to get you here. Very clever. Shall we get on then? What can you tell me? And who, or oh, was that woman? Oh, that woman, as you call her, is of no concern to you. What should concern you more is that Governor Bryn will shortly retire, and there's a new governor on his way here from England. Why should that concern me? For one thing, we don't believe he will be as tolerant towards pirates as Bryn is, and that would bring the whole Caribbean into a state of war. That's a bit dramatic, isn't it? And why should I be concerned about the fate of a bunch of pirates? It is not a bunch of pirates, it's the Brotherhood, and they are gov governed by the Brevin Court. That and they wear power armor, you really don't want to mess with them. Very impressive, but um, they are still outlaws. We have much to learn, Jack, much to learn. It's uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, if you don't mind, sir. Very well, Captain Jack. I remember that, but you need to remember that the pirates in these seas do much to continue the well-being of the Caribbean. I'm not much interested in pirates at the moment. Thanks. I shouldn't be sure of that, Captain Jack. There are some good ones about you, though. In fact, there are some so-called honorable men who are worse than the pirates, and I'm sure you will meet some of them. I'll take your word for it. What else? Just two things. Your father suggests you should sail to Spadestown on Barbados and ask around. I'm not sure what you're looking for in detail, but I'm sure you'll pick up on something that will help your father save the brotherhood. And he left you this sword. Well, I must go now, the governor will be back any minute. I'm not sure I'm interested in helping either of them at the moment, but I might as well, I might as well try my luck in Spadestown. Oh, thanks for all. Goodbye. Mm. I half expected it to be made of wood. Ah, sharp saver of Nicholas Sharp. So there you go, folks. That's the the beginning. I don't know how long I'll play for. Oh, I'm gonna try and s go with the motions. Tom Stippen. Normally he talks to you. Psst. You might want to visit the tavern, Captain. Mm, okay, thank you. I really can't do Jack Sparrow's voice. I know that sort of breaks it. So. Hope you'll be lenient towards it. Now, can I fast travel? I can. One would assume that um, I'm not doing hardcore mode, which is good. Don't get me wrong, I'll do um, a bit of active sailing, but it's nice to be able to, you know, uh, that's the shipyard, to, um, god damn it, what am I saying? But it's nice to be able to uh, just go to somewhere instantaneously without, well, not instantaneously, you understand, but uh, without too much trouble. I grab this, why does this say house? Shouldn't it say tavern? What the hell? Okay, I'm getting out of here. That dude's got a big ass Viking mustache. Okay, so that's not the tavern. Then. But where's the bloody tavern? You see, this is when fast travel comes in handy. Tavern. Oh. Uh, hello there, good sir. And I just exited through the door. At least I'll know where it is now. So it's I was right next to it. <laughs> there's no even there's no sign. That's a fail, little. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's meant to be a trade secret. Anyway, you want to talk to Thomas the Terror over here? That looks good on you, Captain. I know that face anyway, Captain. 
No, really. Yes, you're Sparrow. And I'm not Thomas the Terror, the best-dressed captain in the Caribbean. Captain Jack Sparrow, if you don't mind, sir. Yeah, thank you. I'll remember that. So you're the son of Teague, eh? What brings you to these waters? I prefer not to discuss family relationships for the moment. I'm thinking of going to Spadestown to see what business I can drum up there. Spadestown, eh? Well, that's a coincidence. I'm on my way there myself. The tailor has just received some new fabulous materials from France, which I am interested in, for a new uniform I'm designing. Perhaps we could travel together. After all, the only terror in these waters is bad fashion. Oh, my name is not J. Thomas the Terror Pirate. You seem very calm. From what I've been told, the whole Caribbean is about to explode. Ah, you've spoken to Tia Dama. I just saw her leaving the residence. I'm turning Australian all of a sudden. Not in detail, but uh, I've just left her. Hmm. Well, I nearly spoke to her. Yes, that's a deep story. How much do you know? Not much. Someone or something on the wing is coming here, and that seems to be the root of all the trouble. Ah, it's deeper than that, Captain. Tia Dorma isn't all she appears to be. She was once Davy Jones's lover. Oh, and the other lover's Tiff, I suppose. To put it mildly, some say she's a voodoo princess and causes much me chief in by putting curses on the people. I'm turning into a hero. Hee-haw! <laughs> oh, God, my accent is all over the place. Including Davy Jones. It's all pretty murky. The private hood did something to her, and that's all her pretty well here. Yeehaw! I'm talking like a Fred Bob. Remember Fred Bob? He was epic. What did they do? No one outside the knows, and we won't tell. I can tell you that it is something she can't do anything about. So that is why she went to see my father, to get him to change his mind. We won't tell. That means he's a member. So he knows my father, hmm? I don't know, I wasn't there. True, I didn't hear anything like that when I walked in. So you are no wiser, except that I know something's afoot. Well, you do well to keep that in mind. Also, something's a hand. I shall begin, but then again, I'm not a pirate, so it won't really affect me, will it? My be, but the pirates affect the whole area. What goes on one way or another? So it may get drawn in anyway. Hmm. <clears throat> I can see the problem. Well enough of this doom and gloom. Shall we sail for Spadestown? Two ships together will stand less of a chance of being attacked. Mm, yes, that sounds like a good idea. I'll meet you in the port. Good. Best course this time of year is as we leave the harbour. Sail due south till we reach Curacao. Past the island on our port side, and south southeast to Spadestown. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, remember that? Due south, Curacao, south by southeast. So, we're not gonna mince words, we're going there straight away. I probably could loot, do the weapon van Bergen op zoom. <laughs> Isn't that a mouthful? Spreading freedom. Captain Jack's first ship. So let's go. Get out of my way. Hey look, we're sailing out to sea. I'll probably do this first bit in um actual sailing mode. I think we're unrealistic. Oh no, 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 we're in arcade. This is way too fast for realistic. Yes, this is too fast for realistic. Anyway, get out of the harbor, then south, eh? Oh, also, remind me to loot everything he's on that's on his ship before... Um, I probably can't, though, to be fair. Do, 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 do. I'm guessing that's the way. 
Is there a ship over there? No, can't go that way. Because I haven't got a map, so I don't know what the island looks like. Yeah, that's definitely the harbour. So turn left afterwards. Where the hell is he going? Hoist the flag and get blown to smithereens by the port thing. Yep. Defend me! Oh boy. Why is he flying the flag of East India Company? Not the East India Trading Company, but the East India Company. Fraps restarting there for your enjoyment. Damn, that sand got dark. So yeah, this is what you people, well, some of you wanted. Took us one day to get out of bloody port. Wow. I'm gonna do this only once. I'm gonna go to Spade Sound doing the instant, not the instant sailing, but the actual sailing there method. Then, um, I don't know, I'll probably alternate. Leave comments, tell me what you want to see. I will fast forward this bit though. Whoa! Go pirates! That looks like usually my ship that does. No info on it. Not even a name. Well, I can't take a prize. And I'm assuming my ship's better. That's a schooner if I'm not mistaken. I will leave her alone. Tell them to... Two of them, you see? That's exhibit. Ah, oh, we got out of the encounter. Okay. I'll tell them to take care of them while we just sail away. Bravely sail away! Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin Sparrow! Whoa, their sails got owned. It's not like another pirate ship hidden there. Stop shaking the boat. See, that's ours. They should be over there. Damn, they're fast. Come on, south by southeast once we get to the island. Times 30! Not much to say. Winds against us. And... Fog everywhere, we can't even see. Yo, there we go. This means we're changing um, island places. Now, there are two things about that. One, so now we're approaching Curacao, basically, if I'm not mistaken. Please tell me I have a map. Uh. I forget how you access the map though, that's the problem. Inventory, maps, archipelago, examine. Damn, I don't have a sextant. Yeah, you need actually like a sextant and other instruments to know your position on this map. I think you do anyway. So we were on Grand Cayman. That's Cayman. Went south. 
to Curacao. We might be in Jamaica. I couldn't tell you. Then south by southeast to reach Barbados. Sounds about right. Right, we just gotta continue south then. Until we get land, ho, actual land. Not fog. This could take a while. What the hell was that? Whoa! What the fuck was that? What the... was that? Um... What the? What the? What the fuck? Um. Well, tune in next time, folks, where we will be in Spadestown. Because I'm not doing this shit again. See you then.